Hey everybody, Brian Smith from Showcase Agency here. If you own a home, you've probably gone online to Zillow, typed in your address, and checked out your estimated home value, or what they like to call a Zestimate. Or maybe you went to Realtor.com and did it, or maybe you responded to one of our free home value offers on Facebook, and you got your home value that way. There are literally thousands of websites offering home values, and the good news is they're quick and free. The bad news is they're all extremely unreliable. Now, here's why I say that. Uh, here's a report that shows 10 homes and what they actually sold for compared to their Zestimate at the time of the sale. And as you can see, there's a big dollar difference for most of these. Like the first one on the list is Tequestra, and there's a difference there of about $20,000. Uh, the home the sold for $714, and the Zestimate was $735. Uh, the next one, uh, Gallery Way, that one is a $28,000 difference. Uh, sold for $492, and the Zestimate was $520. Uh, the next one on Pavero, it was a $39,000 difference. Uh, it sold for $695, and the Zestimate was $734. So you can see, you know, these are really kind of hit or miss with these uh, online home values. Oh, and one other thing. Let's jump over to Google and search Zillow CEO sells home. Uh, you can, you know, there's a lot of articles there. You could pick any one. And you can see that even the CEO of Zillow wasn't able to trust his home value. Uh, his Zestimate was for $1.75 million, and his house sold for only $1.05. So there's a difference there of $700,000. If you're not selling your house, who cares how accurate these free home values are, right? But if you are selling, you probably want to sell for the highest price. What home seller wouldn't? Well, to do that, to sell for the highest possible price, you've got to have a bidding war. That means you've got to get two or more buyers to submit their offers the same day or within one to three days of each other. Then you have to get them to compete against each other. In other words, outbidding one another. Here's an example. Let's say your home is listed at 550,000 and you receive one offer for 530. You'll probably meet somewhere in the middle at 540 or so, or no deal at all. Now, let's look at it differently. Same house, same list price of 550, and the same offer for 530, 20,000 below asking. But this time, you get another offer the same day or next day, and it's also at 530. Now you have two buyers competing for your home. If, and this is a very, very important if, if it's negotiated correctly, these two buyers will increase their counter offers to above the 550 asking price. They're gonna do this in a last ditch effort to outbid one another and submit the winning offer. Let me give you another example, but this time I'll share an actual case study with you. Here is the offer and counter offer history of a home we sold for Amy and Karina, a really cool couple we met at one of our open houses. We listed their home on July 25th for full market value, which we calculated to be 680, so our official asking price was 6799. Our first offer came in late afternoon on July 27th, below asking price at 668. Our second offer came in on July 29th in the morning. This one was for 680, basically the asking price. Our third offer came later that evening and it was also for 680. Our fourth and final offer came in the next day, July 30th around noon for 686,800. That same day, we informed all four buyers we had multiple offers and requested they submit their best and final offer. Buyer number one was the first to respond and she increased her offer to 680. Buyer number three was the next to respond and he increased his offer to 690. Buyer number two was next and he said he'd stay put at 680. Buyer number four was the last to respond. 
He replied late afternoon on July 31st and increased his offer to $696,000. So we had four offers and when it was all said and done, two were at asking price and two were above. Amy and Karina chose buyer number four because it was the highest non-contingent offer. And if you don't know, non-contingent just means that the buyer did not have to sell a home in order to buy Amy and Karina's. We had more buyers interested, but when they inquired about the home on July 30th, we were already in the counter offer stage, so they didn't submit written offers. We were technically on the market for five days from July 25th until July 30th, and the home set a record high sale price for that floor plan in their community and at $454.30 per square foot, it also set a record for the highest dollar per square foot for all three bedroom floor plans in their community. So it's really very simple. If you're the seller and you receive only one offer for your home, then that one buyer competes against you in negotiations and the home most likely sells below asking price, if it sells at all. But if you have multiple offers, those buyers compete against each other, not you, and your home most often sells for above asking price. Pocketing the most money from the sale of your home isn't about doing a million different things. It's about focusing on three big things and then maximizing them. And creating a bidding war for your home is one of those three big things. To make a bidding war happen, it takes three steps, and setting your initial asking price at full market value is the first of those three steps. And as we've seen today, no matter where you get an online home value, the bottom line is you can't trust it to calculate your full market value. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you, and if you're planning to put your home up for sale, either by hiring a realtor or doing it on your own, and you would like some free help to pocket the most money from the sale of your home, then you might be interested in a free program we have called the Private Phone Consultation. As I mentioned earlier, pocketing the most money from the sale of your home isn't about doing a million different things. It's about focusing on three big things and then maximizing them. On the free private phone consultation, we show you exactly what those three big things are and the simple steps you must take to maximize each one. If this sounds interesting to you, go ahead and click on the button that's below this video for full details. So whether you click the button below or not, from all of us here at Showcase Agency, we sure do hope you enjoyed watching this video and we hope that the strategies we shared with you were helpful and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks so much. Have an awesome day.